In this video, I'm going to show you how to track internal links on your website. The, diff the reason I differentiate internal links with external links is because external links are not um, on your website but are placed on, for example, Facebook, Instagram, or uh, an email newsletter. And they are going to your website from that link. And you can use UTM links for this, but if you, you, would, you would use these links for internal links, it would be possible that uh, it would overwrite the source that your visitor is coming from, and that's what you absolutely don't want. So that's why I'm going to explain you how to track internal links with Google Tag Manager, and that Google Tag Manager will transfer this information to your Google Analytics account. I'm going to start with um, Google Tag Manager and selecting some variables that you need. You click on variables, configure, and here you go to clicks and you'll select all boxes um, under clicks. As soon as, you've done, as soon as you've done this, you can click on the X and we will go to triggers. We make a new trigger and we're going to configure it with just links. We're going to check both of the boxes and the website will wait 2000 milliseconds before it will go through uh, to another page. So because of this reason, you don't want this trigger to work on every single web page. Well, imagine you want to track um, a link in your menu. You have to, um, you have to tr um, activate this trigger on every single web page on your website. But if you don't need this trigger working on every single web page on your website, you should put right here, page URL, and go to the web page that you want to that you want to um, track with links and you can fill this in over here. Well this is done correctly all and now you have the last option and that's between all link clicks or some link clicks. So are you going to trigger this uh, trigger? Are you going to fire this trigger? with all click on links or only some of them. So eventually it will go to some of them and then you have to fill in this line. But we will start with all of them so you can see what happens and which variables uh, will come through. Now we're giving this trigger a name and it's till now all links and we're going to save it. We can put it in preview mode and right now our website should be in preview mode as well. Now I will show you that my Google Analytics tracking code is already fired because it's fired on every page. But there should be a trigger that fires as soon as I click on a link. I will do it with control on my keyboard because otherwise um, my website will go to another page and that's not what I want. So control and the link will open up into another page. So that's what happens. And here you see that there is a link click registered uh, on Google Tag Manager. And if I click on another link, it will again register it in the summary. So how do you know, so where do you get the variables? The variables are here and here you get all the information that you wanted to get from link clicks, from clicks. And you see that's, um, well, there's a lot of information, but a lot of information is the same. Um, and that's also, the, uh, the reason is also that because there's not really a point where my link um, points to to another page because there's only hashtag that it points to. Um, so it doesn't mean anything. Normally when you have two different links, it has two different um, two different um, pages that it points to. So that's um, the click URL, for example. That's the URL that that it sends your, um, your, your, your visitor to when it clicks on a link. 
but for now it's the same. Where what what is different is here you have click text and here it's get started from the first click and for the second link for click it was no more because I clicked on this link. So that's the biggest difference between those two links and if you look good on this web page there is no other link that's called no more in its title or we call it click text. So this is the big difference between all the links. So this is what we're going to use. No more, I'm going to copy this. And we're going to change some things in our trigger. Because we're going to change our trigger not from, well, from all links to some links, we're going to call it Google Analytics link some, uh, what was it? It was, oh, I have copied it. It was no more and I will click on this and then we go to some link clicks we will take click text if I'm right yes click text with the input that equals to no more so now we did everything for our link correctly the name is correct and we can make it tag. First you have to make a trigger and afterwards you can make it tag. So as you see I already have a tag with a tracking code from a Google Analytics account but we want to make a new one and we are going to make that one with our Universal Analytics. We want it on event Oh, that's my fault. Event and category is links. Action is click. And label is no more. The non interaction hit is false, that's correct. And here you want to um, put your Google Analytics account. I probably have already done this, but if you didn't, I will show you how to do that. You make a new variable, Google Analytics settings, tracking ID, and here you put your tracking ID. You can get to your tracking ID to go to admin, property settings, and here you find your universal analytics tracking ID. You copy this, you paste it in here and you save it with the name Tracking ID Google Analytics. Uh, I already done this, so I just select it. Uh, both are the same. And here you select your trigger that we just made. And you can give it a name. Google Analytics link no more save this and it's done we can refresh our preview mode as you see left uh, in the corner it already saved so we can go to our website again it will reload our bar on the bottom and now you find the text that not fired on this page are this one the link no more it's the one we just made and we hope it will fire as soon as we clicked on a link i will show you that when we click on get started that it will register a link click but it will not fire this tag this link click has the variables variable with click text get started and not no more so that's the problem in here um, but if you click on no more you see that it fired our um, our code, I'll go back to summary. 
um, you see that it uh, fired our tag no more and now the tag will transfer the information to our Google Analytics account so the yeah, last thing we have to do is leave preview mode Submit a change and you want to add a descript description so you can see in your log what you changed. We make it uh, um, tracking links no more. This is only for yourself. So you have a new version now. And if everything is correct, you can go to real time. Go to events because you just made an event and you see that right now well, because we were busy with it you see that there is somebody who clicked on the link um, that we just made so this is how you track internal links on your website with google tag manager i hope everything went correctly for you and i will see you in my next video